A few minutes ago in Canberra, the Prime Minister announced the Australian of the Year and the Young Australian of the Year. Reporter Stephanie Kennedy joins us from the Full Court of Parliament. So Stephanie, tell us who is the Australian of the Year? Well, Juanita, usually uh, musicians, uh, scientists, academics and sports people have been, named young, young, have been named Australian of the Year. But this year, a businessman and investment banker has been named Australian of the Year. Simon McKeon is a philanthropist and he's also very involved in uh, promoting charities here in Australia and overseas. He's on the board of World Vision and he's involved with work in uh, remote Indigenous communities and with solving the problem of world poverty. Now he's also currently the chairman of the CSIRO and a short time ago Simon McKeon said he was humbled by the award and here's a little bit of what he had to say. I am extraordinarily humbled. I'm humbled because I'm just one of a great army of Australians who are involved in the non-for-profit sector and this sector has given me much much more than I've ever contributed to it. I've been privileged to work alongside gifted and committed Australians. I have been inspired as I've seen hope conquer despair. Now that was the Australian of the Year. Stephanie, fill us in on the other winners. Jessica Watson has been named Young Australian of the Year for her solo round the world voyage and also for the fact that she's become a role model for young teens around the world. Equal rights campaigner Professor Rod McCallum has been named Senior Australian of the Year and Don Ritchie from Sydney's eastern suburbs has been named Australia's local hero for 2011 for his work in suicide prevention. He lives near the notorious uh, uh, suicide spot The Gap and he's prevented 100 160 people from committing suicide by coaxing them back from the cliffside. Now all these Australians of the Year will now spend the next 12 months travelling the country and promoting their causes. Juanita. Stephanie Kennedy in Canberra, thank you.